the data they sing And fools of themselves They're only judged by God And the fruits that they've dropped And left there to rot All the weeds that they grew Are never end. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our faith, while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath, or the fool state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck, God only knows.
Showers and thunderstorms continues across northern Arizona through early this evening. Snow level above 11,000 feet. Lows around 41 in Flagstaff, around 43 in Williams. Light winds. Chance of thunderstorms 20%. Got him. We got him, dude. Um... 712 is he um yeah I see this oh kind of goes north and south on the east end of so we'll slide you down okay We shot this bull last night. It was an hour before dark and we hit him low and back. It was it was a pretty bad shot. And uh tracked him, watched him until dark, and then came back this morning, couldn't find anything, so went back and took a quick break midday and uh, got back this evening and Jay jumped him up and we watched him go three four hundred yards and uh, I was able to sneak around him and put another arrow in him so we got pretty lucky we stuck at it and, and we found him he's a good one I want to say thanks for watching our four-part elk series. Um, this is the last video and a couple things there at the end that uh, we didn't catch on video. Um, you saw, so I shot that bull before dark and we called him in and not, there had to have been 20, 25 cows that came in and they just came in single file. and. I was ranging a bunch of those cows and they were coming in the same lane and I knocked that arrow and got ready for that bull and it was my mistake. I didn't I didn't range him when he came by and he and the last few cows ended up coming in a lane that was further away and I just spaced it, I didn't recognize it and uh, I shot him a little bit low so um, the shot wasn't wasn't a kill shot like right away so I tried to get another arrow in him that night before dark I just kind of slowly followed him and never could get an arrow in him I watched him and, until there was no light left and just couldn't get on him so Jay and I the next morning we went in there and just started looking we went right back to where we last saw him couldn't find him couldn't find him kept looking and then we just started gridding. And when we started to grid, uh, Jay actually picked him up and he was bedded. And I was able to, to sneak in and put another arrow in him and, and, and uh, finished him off and uh, kind of capped off the, this uh, 
I guess it would have been 13 days of this hunt. So, as you saw, we saw a ton of bulls and and had a lot of action. So it was a it was a great hunt. It was kind of a stressful there at the last you know last part of it with a with a not so good shot. But uh, I was able to I was able to find the bull and finish him. And that's that's him right there. So nice seven seven by seven bull so um we're kind of wrapping this thing up and we have got some editing to catch up on so we apologize we're gonna be skipping the weekend we're we're just we're gonna upload a couple videos but they're gonna be giveaway videos we're gonna give away the the canyon 150 quart cooler uh so you only have a day left to get entered for that. So if you haven't entered for the cooler, go to the description, put your name and email in, and that gets you entered. And that doesn't keep you from winning the rifle or anything else. Um, just gets you entered for the cooler. So go get your name in there. We've got a lot more stuff to give away. And then we're going to come back on Monday with Kevin's Arizona Archery Bull Hunt. And after that, we're going to have Texas All Dad, and we're going to wrap this series up. So... Just want to say thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing and commenting. We appreciate all of it. So we will see you tomorrow with the Canyon Coolers video.